Okay, so when I first introduced logarithmic, uh, the whole idea of logarithms, it was because they're related to exponential functions. Uh, so similar to when we solved exponential equations, our goal was to see if we could have the same base on both sides. If we could get it so that there was the same base on both sides, then we set their exponents equal to each other, and we were good to go. Well, similarly, if we have the same log on both sides, log base 19, log base 19, and that's all we have, then all we have to do is set what's inside those logarithms equal to each other, and now we just have a linear equation to solve. So I'm going to add the 2r to both sides. So we've got 1 plus r is equal to negative 8. And I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides, and I'm going to get negative 9. Now, be careful. You can get negative answers okay, for your variables, but just be careful because remember, we can't take the log of a negative number. So you definitely want to check these. Okay, whether you check it in your calculator or if you just confirm that 1 minus a negative 9 is really like adding 9, so that's log base 19 of 10, and negative 2 times negative 9 minus 8 is 18 minus 8, which is 10, so we get the same thing on both sides. So it is okay, negative 9 is our solution. But I highly suggest that you always, always, always check uh, these solutions to these equations. Example B, we've got the same situation. We've got log base 2 on the left side. We've got log base 2 on the right side. So we can just set what's inside those logarithms equal to each other. 8 plus 2x squared is equal to 3x squared plus 2x. Can't forget what we've learned in the past. That's a quadratic equation. We've got x squares, so quadratic equations have to be equal to what? Zero. So we've got to move everything. I'm going to move it to the right side because that's where x squared is bigger. I'm going to subtract 2x squared from both sides and subtract the 8. So I've got 0 is equal to 3 minus 2 is 1. x squared plus 2x minus 8. We need to factor. If we can factor, that would be x plus 4 and x minus 2. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. 4 plus negative 2 is positive 2. So we get negative 4 and positive 2, bless you, as solutions. Again, I've got a negative solution. I might want to make sure that that's okay. Remember, when you square a negative number, that you need to put it in parentheses before you square it, or just don't even use the negative. Right now, I'm just checking to make sure if both of those give me the same number, then log base 2, I got log base 2 of 40 on the left side, log base 2 of 40 on the right side. So I'm good. Uh, I should also check too. Sometimes the positive answers don't work. Okay, sometimes the positive answers don't work. So you should always make sure that those check out. And I get 16 on both sides. 40 and 16 are both positive numbers, so I don't have any issues. Negative 4 and positive 2 are my solutions. Now, what happens if we don't have a log on both sides? Let's look at example C. 6 minus 4 log base 12 of 9x plus 6 is equal to negative 6. We do not have a log on both sides, so we cannot use the technique that we just used. That only applies when you have the same log on both sides. So if I'm looking at this, I only see my variable in one place. It's right here, inside my logarithm. So, kind of like with our exponential equations, we want to do what we can to get that logarithm by itself. Now, unfortunately, this is what a lot of people want to do. They really, really, really want to say 6 minus 4 is 2 and say that that's 2 log base 12. Okay, it's not. That 4 is attached to the log by multiplication. You cannot 
absolutely cannot subtract the 6 minus 4. We've got to start by subtracting the 6 from both sides. So negative 6 minus 6 is negative 12. We're multiplying our logarithm by negative 4, so it kind of makes sense to divide by negative 4 to get rid of that. Okay, so that's gone. So we've got log base 12 of 9x plus 6 is equal to 3. So now we have the logarithm by itself. Our variable is stuck inside of it. The only way to get the variable out of the logarithm is to express this in exponential form. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to write in exponential form. <coughs> so all these building blocks are coming back into play. Use the swoop. Okay? 2 cubed, or excuse me, not 2, 12 cubed is equal to 9x plus 6. 12 cubed is, I don't know, 144 times 12. One thousand seven hundred twenty eight. Okay. Now this is just a linear equation to solve now. Subtract six. One thousand seven hundred twenty two. And divide by nine. X is equal to and let's see if that'll reduce. Five hundred seventy four over three. And an equation. You can always check it. Plug it back into the original. Type it in exactly how the problem appears. Six minus four log. We gotta use change base nine times x five seventy four over three plus six divided by the log of the base 12, and that equals negative 6. So we're good. Okay, let's do another one. Yes. Writing in exponential form. Okay, my base was 12, so I go around the equal sign. 12 cubed is equal to 9x minus, or excuse me, 9x plus 6. Going from log form to exponential form. Okay, let's do another one. Similar, but we're finally going to use those properties that we learned today. Log base 5 of x plus 2 minus log base 5 of x plus 4 is equal to 1. So we've got two logarithms in this one, but they're on the same side of the equation. So let's use our properties that we learned today to make that a single logarithm. So when we're subtracting two logs, we can write that as the single log of their quotient, x plus 2 over x plus 4. Now, we're in the same boat that we're at at the top of our page right here. We've got our log equal to a number. So that's when we write in exponential form. 5 to the first is equal to x plus 2 over x plus 4. Okay, the easiest way to solve this, we've got x plus 4 in the denominator. Multiply both sides by the denominator. Cancels on the right side. I'm going to go ahead and distribute it over here on the left side. 5x plus 20 is equal to x plus 2. Solving for x. Subtract x from both sides. 4x plus 20 equals 2. 
Subtract 20 from both sides. 4x equals negative 18. Divide by 4. Both those numbers are divisible by 2. So it gives us negative 9 halves. We want to plug it in to make sure. Log of negative 9 over 2 plus 2 divided by the log of 5 minus the log of negative 9 over 2 plus 4 divided by the log of 5. That should give us 1. Whoops. And it doesn't because when we go to plug it back in, did I just think it on? I think all my numbers are good. When we go to plug it back in, when we plug in 9 over 2, negative 9 over 2, negative 9 over 2 plus 2 is still negative. We can't take the log of a negative number. So even though we get an answer, when I go to check it, it says non-real answer. Okay. Um, so even though we get it, we got to throw it out. This one actually has no solution. Okay, this one actually has no solution. So, we did all that work, and then it actually doesn't have an answer. It happens sometimes.